Hello kids, welcome to my channel Maths Fun Learning. I am your math teacher Rashi. In this video, we are going to learn something uh, beautiful about square shape. So I have a one square, it is a 2D shape. So, okay, we are going to learn here perimeter of square and area of square. Okay, so I have a one square. So uh, as you know that Perimeter is what? First, let, uh, first we'll learn about the perimeter. Perimeter. So the perimeter of this is the polygon shape. The perimeter of the polygon shape means the sum of all the boundaries. So we have to find out the uh, the length of the this square. The one length of the square and we will find the formula of the uh, perimeter of the square and we will uh, find this perimeter here okay so you all know that uh, square has all sides are equal so if you can see this one side is uh, let's see the one side is six centimeter so I will write here it is a 6 cm that means other sides are also 6 cm yeah so here we will find out the formula of this shape you know that the sum of all the boundaries perimeter means we have to count the boundaries we have to add all boundaries of the polygon shapes now I will add this side, then this side, then this one, and then again the fourth one. That means we add here all sides. 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. 18 plus 6, 24. Very good. 24 centimeter. So like that we can find the perimeter. But to be a more easy there is a formula of the perimeter of a square so what is the uh, formula let's find it you know that you add all sides here the same number is adding so i hope you remember that repeated addition is called multiplication very good so here we can if we uh, can if we call it one side is s yeah if we just name it side so the perimeter of the uh, square of square you can see you added side four times so you just uh, write in a multiplication form four times side so this is the perimeter formula four times side either the side is whatever the side it is because you know that there are there are different sides of squares and if question gives you the all sizes are different right so here four times side you will get your answer isn't it easy yeah now let's solve let's understand the area also so here you understand the perimeter now let's work on area area come lead what is that area first you have to understand what is that area i will just bring this square here area means it's not a boundary perimeter is a boundary but area is the inner full part yes this the red color the whole portion that is the area so area of a square is explained as the space occupied inside the square yeah first you find the find, found the perimeter which is the boundary and now area is the space occupied inside the square okay so let's see oh great 
I have some Legos. Look, let's see how we will find out the area. We, what I will do here, I will just put these, this thing, these uh, boxes, the blocks here. And you can see the area is filled by these blocks. Yeah, Lego blocks. You can use anything. If you have coins, you can use coins to fill it. If you have Legos, you can use anything Legos. I use and please take all the shapes in the same size. Look what I did. I have all Legos and I just filled this square with the help of a Legos. Look what's going on here. Look. My square is filled with this Legos block. Isn't it beautiful? It looks beautiful, right? Yeah. So, this is the space is occupied. Inside of this, uh, this occupied space is called an area. Now, I hope you understand the perimeter. Perimeter is only the boundary. Area is the space which is occupied inside the square. So, that is the area. So, what is the formula of area? How do we find out the, you know, this formula? In a square, basically, if you can see the length and the breadth, we are multiplying this length and breadth. So, the area of the square multiply with length and breadth. You know that length is a one same side. I will we'll, just mark it as a S. As we mark it here S and breadth is also as S, S because in square both sides are equal same size so S time S yeah so we are not adding here S square because two S are multiplying here right so this is the length one, if we can count the small uh, circles, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 rows are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 8 columns are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times 8 is 64. The area of the square is 64. Yes. So, like that, this is the formula of the square area area yeah so this is the formula as a square and the measurement is in always square units yeah the measure measurement which you have to write that is a square units if it is in a centimeter it is a centimeter square if it is a meter meter square like that Okay, I hope kids you understand the perimeter and this area of the square and your doubt is also clear. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends and please click on the bell button. Thank you.